The wild new launch of PU Plus RA HPE showcases the bold new styling direction of the storied Italian brand as it is reinvented for the electric era. The new concept mixes classic Lancia design cues, a whiff of Stratos here, a dash of Delta there, with some radical new styling elements, including a bold new front-end design. The firm says it is a manifesto for how its new design language will be rolled out on EVs that will launch in the coming years. Sadly, Lancia claims that the concept won't directly evoke into a production model, to which we can only say, yeah, you guys found it wrong. Let's get into PU plus RA HP in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video. Thank you. Let's quickly jump in it. Welcome back to the glorious brand of Lancia with its masterpiece of design. Lancia is part of the Stellantis car empire that also includes Alfa Romeo, Diaz and Peugeot, but in recent years has only been active in Italy with the aging Ypsilon City car. But Stellantis has bold plans to revive the brand with a lineup of city cars, saloons and flagship models. That will start next year with a new Ypsilon hatch, which will be offered with electric and hybrid powertrains. But from 2026 onwards the brand will only launch full electric models and it says it will only sell EVs from 2028. When it plans to launch a new version of the classic Delta. But that's for the future, let's look at the PU plus RA HPE. Since you were about to ask, PU plus RA stands for the pure and radical design language, while HPE stands for high performance electric. That's a nod to a badge that was previously used on a variant of the Lancia Beta in the 1970s, albeit standing for high performance estate in that case. The PU plus RA HP is essentially a four seat electric coupe. It is 4,450 mm long, 1950 mm wide, and 1,350 mm tall. Technical details of the powertrain have not been disclosed, but Lancia says that it has a brand vision in terms of range of more than 435 miles. The influence of past Lancia models can be clearly seen in the styling. The rear end is clearly a nod to the classic Stratos Coupe, while the unusual front end, complete with an LED callus light bar, reflects elements seen on the original Delta. The rear window features horizontal lines that are apparently inspired by the sun-blind feature on the Beta HPE. The overall shape of the car also evokes both the Stratos and the 037. The Lancia name is spelt out about the front callus and across the rear of the car, while the reworked Lancia logo has been moved to the side of the machine, another feature that will be used on future production cars. Another bold design feature is the circuit roof, which serves as both a design feature and a panoramic sunroof to let extra light in. Lancia claims that the new design has been inspired by classic Italian furniture, and it's actually worked with design firm Casina on some of the interior elements. The idea is to use simple design elements that give it a home feeling. So there are velvet-covered front seats that resemble armchairs as much as car seats, round carpets and the center console and other design elements use geometric shapes. Meanwhile the dashboard is built on a single piece of round glass. The firm claims that sustainability was a key factor in the development of the machine, claiming that 70% of the touchable surfaces are made with eco-sustainable materials. As for technology, the PU Plus RA HP also previews Launch's new Sala interface. It stands for Sound Air Light Augmentation and features the audio, climate control and lighting functions in a smart virtual interface. Three onboard modes are offered, a driving-focused immersive setting, a well-being mode and an entertainment mode. The forthcoming Ypsilon will be the first launcher production model to feature the new grille and styling, and that's Sala interface. 
it is due to launch next year. While Lancia has plans to expand beyond its current market, there is no word yet on the brand's UK plans. Hence, in the market of EVs, how the brand performed different from others. Let's wait for the new inclinated design and performance until its presence. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. If you the evolved humans like this video and thumbs up. Thank you.